Hey, Izana. I know, I know, I disappeared for a while. <laughs> I know. But every time I tried to come back, like, I just, it didn't feel right. I just couldn't even do it. And I realized I needed to make a change because there's no point doing something that you don't actually feel passionate about or that you're not happy with, you know. If it's not fun, what the hell is the point? So here we are completely changing it even got a new background although if you're listening on the podcast platform like apple Podcasts and spotify you obviously can't see the background but if you're watching on youtube you can see i've moved location because you know we've got to switch it up a little bit <laughs> and i wanted it to be way more casual way more chilled which i swear i've said so many times but then i didn't really know how to go about actually doing that so we have finally figured it out. This is why I needed a little bit of a break so that I could just figure out the best way to do this where I can just ramble and talk and like be in my zone, you know, and not just be sitting there all formal and all like uncomfortable trying to teach shit, you know? I don't want to teach. I'm not trying to teach facts or information. I'm just trying to like express, I guess, which is such a like <laughs> musician type of thing to say, but I just want to like, share my perspective talk about things that i'm passionate about and hopefully help people along the way you know but it doesn't need to be such formal ugh, <laughs> weird videos and because they were only like 10 minutes 15 minutes long you obviously have to get to the point kind of straight away you know so that's why they would just be very structured and very teaching kind of thing <laughs> not my kind of thing so yeah we are switching it these videos and podcast episodes are gonna be like probably around an hour or so i would say but we're just gonna wing it and see what happens you know i'm just testing these waters testing it out and we'll see what happens but i still want to share all of this information but i prefer it as a conversation like i prefer it as like just natural literally natural instead of picking specific things like let's talk about the universal mirror today <laughs> you know i really don't like that kind of thing and i think that's probably why i put off um like even creating a youtube channel for so long because all of the videos that were popular like the main videos on there were all that kind of format and that just isn't me i just can't do it <laughs> especially because I always change my mind like I'll film something I'll think it's good I'll think what I'm saying is right and then maybe a week later I'll be like what the fuck was I even saying like that is not true <laughs> and my mind would have changed so yeah I just don't like that kind of thing and I feel like this is way more casual way more relaxed I realise I can just like put my feet up you know get comfy I don't even have to wear full glam for once because I never really wear makeup when I'm at home I'm just chilling in fucking pajamas I'm not wearing makeup you know so even though I have it on today because this is the first video of course we've got to make an effort obviously <laughs> but I'm sure in future ones I won't be so blur because it's not even comfortable to sit there chilling in full face like I'm sure all the girls know that as soon as you get home it comes straight off because who wants to sit there chilling in full glam it's just uncomfortable so yeah I just like the whole chill vibe that sounds so cringe <laughs> but I just like the chillness you know the the yeah you know what I'm trying to say so yes I have been away for a little while which is kind of unusual for me because I was getting very consistent with the videos but sometimes when things don't feel right like what is the point in doing things that don't feel good what is the point in continually having to force yourself to sit there and do something that you don't want to do, you know? Like, not even just content, but anything. Even work, like jobs. If you don't enjoy it, what is the point, you know? Like, why? Why would you force yourself to do that? So, I just took the break that I needed. Especially because I was launching Zana Collection, my clothing brand. I launched that in the last couple of weeks. So, like, my attention and time span was a bit restricted so I couldn't even film really anyway I needed to take the break but I just couldn't come back as sooner as I wanted because I just wasn't in the mood to film at all because it's like I don't want to sit there filming this fucking topic <laughs> so yes but I am excited to be back and I'm excited to do this and I've called it solar trip because as you probably have seen I do have an Instagram already called solar trip where I was posting my 
quotes and stuff. Then I realised, why am I putting these on a separate Instagram when they could just go on my normal Instagram because it's a part of who I am and my personality and this is what I want to post. So why am I separating them? So yeah, I stopped doing that. But um, also my entertainment company, which like represents all of my music, is called Solo Trip. So... I just wanted to use that name and turn it into a podcast as well. So then we can keep this content coming, but actually do it in the way that feels authentic. You know, you have to do what you love. You have to do what you enjoy. You have to follow your heart, even if other people don't understand, or even if it makes you appear crazy or whatever, you just have to kind of do what feels right for you. And that's what I'm choosing to do. So this video, I just want to put this out there. This video is just the introduction. I'm not going to be rambling like this in all of the rest. This is just me trying to like get comfortable, get back in the swing of things and also like um, tick off all of the things that I needed to say because I have disappeared for a while. So yeah, that's just kind of the introduction to this podcast which I am excited to do and obviously we're going to be going into all of these topics this is what this is for it's called solar trip like literally solar trip because of the planets and astrology the solar system you know like you travel through all of these stars all of these planets and it creates your personality and it forms your vessel so that's why it's called solar trip because we are essentially on a solar trip I mean we're in a solar system but then you could say that we're not. So who knows, you know, like that is kind of the questions that we're trying to explore is what the fuck is this place? What is earth? What is this world? Who are we? What are these vessels? What is this fucking desk right in front of me? Like, what is all of this stuff? You know, where are we? Basically, that is what this podcast is. And that is what my YouTube channel was trying to be, but it was going too weird and specific. You know, you may have enjoyed it, but I didn't enjoy making it. So that is why we are doing it like this. And that is the kind of questions that we're going to be exploring. Because I feel like when you first start on this journey, like it is so overwhelming, even to even, even to even. <laughs> oh my God, I'm going to get so comfortable with myself because I'm noticing all of my flaws already and it's making me really anxious. <laughs> oh, I can't even form sentences properly. But anyway this journey and trying to film videos is very overwhelming with like the amount of topics the amount of questions that come up when you start seeking this information it's just overwhelming it's like where do you even start literally where the hell do you even start and even when I'm like searching other people's videos to watch it's like what one do I click on like what one's going to be right what one's going to resonate what topic do I even want to search do you know what I mean? Because there's just so much information out there. There's so many different things that you can research and find out about, and like even from this planet and the physical world, the corrupt system that we call the matrix system, you and who you are, your soul, your vessel. And then like literally the solar system and the planets and the shape of the earth, like there's debates about that. You know, there's debates about everything, even history. Even history, we have been lied to and had the truth manipulated and twisted and like myths and metaphors turned literal, you know, like everything has just been completely screwed up and then spat back out and we've just like soaked it all up as if it's what we're supposed to do. <laughs> that sounds so disgusting. <laughs> but we have, we've just like literally absorbed it all and accepted it as if it's right when it's not you know and mainly because our parents told us that it was right so we just believed them and then they were told by their parents that it was right so they just believed them and then it's like a vicious cycle that's happened for generations upon generations and now we're all here like what the fuck is this <laughs> like what how did we fall so deep into this hellhole and then now we just work 24 7 just to literally eat like now we just work so that we can put a roof over our head literally for necessities and we're having to like grind ourselves into the ground you know it's actually crazy when you think about it literally crazy and then when you start learning this information you realize what this is it's like oh my god <laughs> like oh my god this really happened like we really have just fallen and accepted this shit and let ourselves just be manipulated and controlled and now we just work we work for a piece of paper like what 
<laughs> you know, like it's crazy. But when you first start trying to uncover the truth, because that really is what this journey is, you're just trying to find the truth. And when you start asking these questions, like first of all, the amount of questions that you'll have is such a rabbit hole in itself. You know, as soon as you think you've got the answer to one question, another question comes up and it's like, just constant but then the amount of topics and areas and aspects that you can even uncover is just so huge honestly <laughs> even trying to decide what to film is a challenge because there's just so many things that you can uncover so many things to talk about and also it takes a while to even integrate what you're learning because it's so deep and so like we've had so much brainwashing that we're having to get rid of to even take in and understand the truth when it's presented to us, you know? So like, when it comes to understanding it and things, it can take you a while to even internalize it fully. Like you might internalize it a little bit and think that you understand it. And then maybe even a year later, you'll realize, oh, like I get it even more now, you know? And you didn't even realize that you didn't actually understand it fully. So yeah this journey can just be very very overwhelming and very isolating and very confusing especially if your family and things don't really understand or aren't on the same path you know but we can get into all of that in another video because that's a whole topic in itself and the fact that everyone's here for a purpose and it's their path and like they're needed even in the level of perception that they have you know like all of this see what I mean there's just so many things to talk about and so many directions that I could go in and I think that's why I would structure my YouTube videos because I would get overwhelmed and like I would break it down into tiny little topics so then I could fully like dive into that specific thing rather than letting my mind just run wild and go all over the place and not even make sense you know you can kind of make yourself look a bit Kanye crazy <laughs> when you do this, when you like embark on this path and then start sharing it. I think that's the hard part is sharing it. Cause like it's one thing to research things yourself, to understand things yourself and then that be it. But when you start talking about it, when you start, even just if, if it's just to your friend or just to your family or something, it's like as soon as you start expressing it, I don't know, it's just so terrifying. But obviously it's terrifying because we've had so much fear instilled into us in the first place. So like, of course it's gonna be terrifying to break that. And you're going against what a lot of people still hold on to, you know, like they're still holding on to the fear and the, and like the false beliefs, the lies basically and the manipulation. So it can kind of be like scary and weird and like, overwhelming to start speaking your truth but of course a part of the lesson and a part of the path is learning how to express your, tr your truth can't get these words out <laughs> sometimes like that is a whole lesson in itself is like how to express your truth you know like how to actually express your truth and say what you feel and say what you mean but still doing it in a like kind and loving and compassionate way you know all of these lessons I swear it's just so much and so overwhelming and so intense and oh my god I can't even describe it and I think that's another reason why I want to do these videos is because like it's a conversation with myself. Like I'm literally sitting here talking to myself. I know people are gonna watch it, but I'm talking to myself in this moment. So it's like really therapeutic in a way, because this way I can just say whatever I need to, you know, whatever I'm feeling, whatever I want to. I really recommend this to everyone, even if it's just like on your phone, just a voice note, in your journal, literally just writing your thoughts and writing about the experience that you're having and what you're learning and what you're uncovering, because it really does help you to internalize it deeper and to understand yourself and your own mind. You know, like it helps you to notice your thought patterns more and the cycles, because we always go in cycles. So it helps you to like notice the progress you've made and then when you've gone back to the old thing and then when you've moved forward like you can just kind of see the path that you're taking and you can see the direction that you're going in it's really powerful to be honest like this path is such a powerful path but of course that means facing the fear and facing all of the things that you're not which also makes it powerful even more 
<laughs> you know? So yeah, I'm really grateful to be doing this, to be honest. Like the fact that we even have this platform to be able to sit here and just talk to ourselves and share it with the world. Like literally anyone could click on it randomly and just listen. So I think that's just such an incredible, crazy thing. A really crazy thing actually when I think about it. So let me not think about that because I think I will like stop. <laughs> but yeah, I really like this. So I'm excited to be doing this and we're going to del delve, dive into, oh my God, I can't speak. We are going to dive into all of these topics and go further. You'll have to forgive me though because my camera keeps cutting off. It. I didn't know this when I bought this camera, but it overheats. So then after like 15 minutes or so, it cuts off and then it starts cutting off every like five minutes or something. It's really irritating. So if I'm trying to film for an hour, having my camera cut off every five minutes is not fun. So I may have to switch camera, which is annoying because this one's the better quality. But I mean, you can't have it all. So yeah, if the audio gets like chopped up a little bit or the video gets chopped up a little bit, that would be why. And it's very frustrating, but what can you do? Fuck it. There is nothing I can do about it. So we'll let that go. <laughs> but yeah. So I kind of feel like that is all I wanted to say. But this is just to introduce the whole plan, I guess. I don't know what to call this. But the podcast, that would make sense. This is to introduce <laughs> the podcast and everything that we're going to be discussing. And of course, it won't be as scattered as this because I really am just trying to get back in the swing of like talking to myself and <laughs> being comfortable on camera again and everything like that. So this is just the introduction. But yeah, I just wanted to start this off with the fact that like sometimes the path changes, you know, like but it's supposed to have changed. And sometimes you start doing things that you actually did enjoy. Like when I first started making YouTube, I really enjoyed making those videos. But I feel like as time goes on and you change and you learn and you evolve and you like grow from things and you experience new things, you then realize, okay, this doesn't feel as fun anymore. I need to shift this into something else. Like, let me do something else, you know? And it's important to actually trust that and not doubt that feeling. If you feel that, trust it. And then ask yourself, okay, but what will feel good? What do I want to do? And then you can kind of move along to new and better ideas, which is what I'm trying to do. And sometimes you move on to those new ideas and then you realise that they're not actually that great. <laughs> and then you have to adjust again. But there's nothing wrong with that, you know. It's not failure. It's not bad. It's not weird. It's just a part of the learning process and it's just a part of life. So we're going to try this out and see how it goes and see how I feel, you know. And it may change again. Who knows? Who knows? But this is just a part of the path that leads to your purpose, you know? So as long as you feel good every day, like you feel good in what you're doing and in yourself and in your intentions behind what you're doing, then you can't go wrong, you know? That literally is what following your heart means. It's just like something that feels exciting and feels good to you. Yeah, my camera just cut off again. This is <laughs> irritating. And no lie, I've balanced it on a candle that's upside down. So it's literally balancing <laughs> so bad. If this shit falls over, I will cry. Like, actually cry. <laughs> so that is it for episode one. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Don't forget to check me out on social media. My name is at Zana Trip on all of my accounts like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat and YouTube. So yeah, I will see you over there and until the next episode. Bye. I tried a love song. I tried to give him something. But he don't want to live.